my channel, of course. That's what it is. Um, today we'll be doing this really cool neon orange look with this really cool graphic eyeliner. Super cool, what do you think? Yeah, so if you wanna learn how to do this <laughs> look, please continue watching and don't forget to hit the like button and comment below your thoughts and recommendations or what you really like to see. I like to see all of that, I really wanna know. I wanna know what you guys want. So don't forget to hit the like button and comment below and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my channel if you want to continue seeing these tutorials so we're starting off with the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion and i'm going to apply this all over my eyelid using my finger i'm blending out the product and patting it into the skin don't forget to get underneath your eye because you'll be applying some eyeshadow here and you definitely want the eyeshadow to have something to grip onto use the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. Um, so I'm going to actually start with a transition shade, which is going to be this one right here. It's called So Bougie. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to go in. And then I'm just going to take it into my crease and this is going to be my transition shade um, inside of my crease. So I'm starting out in the outer corner and then I'm going to make sure that this is nicely diffused and blend it out and then I'm going to go towards the inner corner using windshield wiper movements. Next I'm going to take this really light close to white shade called Rollin' in Dough and I'm just going to take a small detailed angle brush and I'm just going to press that onto my brow bone. I'm using padding motions to blend it into my transition shape. Next I'm going to go in with a more dense tapered brush, a little bit pointier, and I'm going to define this crease in the outer corner a little bit more with a darker shade. And I'm going to start off with the shade Cocoa Truffle. I'm going to go into my crease in the inner corner as I mentioned and I'm just going to focus on that outer corner. And I'm using twirling motions to blend out this eyeshadow into my transition shade. see I've defined that outer corner a lot more than this one. Makes a huge difference. Next I'm going to go with an even denser brush and I'm going to go into the shade Decadent and I'm going to focus on placing the shadow on one side of the brush and I'm going to go ahead and place it in my outer corner and I'm going to tap it in. I really want to define this this outer corner. So using these tapping motions are really going to give me a rich amount of pigment. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it into that darker shade of brown that I placed on the outer corner. And then I'm just going to go Now I don't want to entirely lose that brown, so I'm going to go ahead and go back in with this tapered brush and I'm going to go back into Cocoa Truffle and by doing this I'm going to blend these two together, but definitely not losing that brown that I placed in that outer corner. And since I've gone ahead and defined this area quite a bit, which is exactly what I want, 
I'm gonna go ahead and bring back that transition shade so bougie and I'm going to diffuse everything I've done So this is my technique for blending as I go and if I find that I leave myself with some harsh lines I just go back and dip into my transition shade and diffuse everything. You can see I've done a pretty good job of defining my outer corner but also using that transition shade as a good way to diffuse all of the eyeshadows together. It's a really nice gradient blend. We've got our brow bone highlight, our transition, our darker outer corner shade, and the black to really define that outer corner. Next, I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to carve out my lid. So now that both of my lids have been carved out, I'm going to go in with this shade called Old Money and I'm going to use a really small detail brush in Morphe 149. And the reason why I'm using this brush is because I want to be really careful with the placement of this eyeshadow. Now I don't want to go ahead and ruin this really defined curve that I've carved out with the concealer and I just want to place that eyeshadow just where I want it. So this really small detail brush is really going to help with the placement. So now I'm just placing this at an angle because next to this shade, I'm going to place an almost matte bright orange and I'm gonna diffuse it all the way in. So I'm gonna create a nice even gradient with that with, be, between these two oranges. So now I'm going into a different palette. This is the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Radon right here. It's a really nice orange neon color. So I'm gonna go in with this really small detail brush that I have. Of course, I'm using all the small detail brushes, but I just wanna use these little brushes to be a little bit more precise on the eyelid. I'm just going to pat in this color and I'm going to bring it next to that shimmery orange color that I use and I'm going to want to blend these two together as best as I can. And I'm only packing on a little bit of product at a time just because that way I have a little bit more control of the eyeshadow. I'm just following that line that I created when I carved out my crease. 
for my next step, I'm going to go in with Schwing Liquid Eyeliner by The Balm Cosmetics. And I'm actually going to create a really interesting type of wing. It's uh, very different from what I usually do, but I'm actually going to use this curve that I created while carving out my eyelid with concealer. And I'm going to use that as a, like a tracing guideline for my eyeliner. And I'm going to kind of like wrap around that curve and then define my crease outward while creating a wing liner. So I know it sounds complicated, but it's all going to make sense once I do it. So just watch. So I'm actually going to start right here where that curve starts near my lash line. And I'm just going to trace that line first. And then I'm just, like I said, I'm just tra tracing this curve that I've already created. And then I'm going to create a nice point right over here. And then continue tracing that curve. Next, I'm just going to create a normal wing that I normally would. Just bring that wing up this way. And then I'm going to connect this point with that point. And then make it outward like that. And all I need to do now is fill it in. And by doing this technique, I've just made it easier for me to create like kind of a difficult graphic eyeliner look. But since I already had some guideline, guidelines, it was a little bit easier. So Now I'm just going to go ahead and align the rest of my lash line with my eyeliner. I'm going to take the side of this felt tip and I'm just going to stamp it. Today I'm actually going to prime my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. And I'm just going to take some of this and put it directly onto my finger. And I'm just going to focus on placing it into my T-zone. Especially around the nose because this is where um, I find that foundation doesn't really like to stick on so if I'm really working my foundation in if I work it in a little bit too much I find that it starts to just become patchy especially on the nose area And again, I'm focusing on the center of my face and then I'm working the product outward. Foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation and I'm just going to focus this on the center of my face. And then from the center, I'm going to work my way out. And I'm going to use a, um, a Real Techniques blending sponge to blend outward. And I'll have a, a quite of a bit of a breakout right over here because you know that time of the month. <laughs> but 
but I've been breaking down the Nataria for about a month and a half now. So hopefully it goes away. So now I'm going to take my ELF Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Peach. And I'm going to go ahead and um, put a little dot right here and a little bit right over here. Other side as well. And just a little bit right over here. I'm also going to spot cover this problematic area but to match. I'm going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to add some right here to the sides of my nose where I have a little bit of black line, so I kind of want to cover that. And then to brighten up my forehead area, we'll add a little bit right there. And just to the bridge of my nose. I use my Beauty Blender, or excuse me, my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I'm going to pat that product in. Next, I'm going to take my Bahama Mama bronzer. I'm going to take my favorite, favorite brush, and I'm just going to place that under my cheekbones to carve it off. I'm also going to put some under my jawline to define that a little bit more. Using patting motions so that I can press it into the skin and it gives it a more seamless, seamless finish. I'm also going to bring some up here into the forehead area. I'm going to add a little bit of flesh, and right now, since I have this handy, I'm going to use the Laura Geller, Laura Geller Baked Flesh and Brighten in the shade Honeysuckle. And I'm going to take that exact same brush, because you know how much I love to use this brush. And I'm going to place that right on my at the on the sides of my cheekbone and into my temple. So next, I'm going to take my NARS highlighter. This is in Tribulation, and this is a really old highlighter I've had for a really long time. I love it because it is, it's got a really not, a nice sheen, natural finish. It's not too crazy, but it is really beautiful. And I'm just going to place that on the high points of my cheekbone. I'm also going to put some on my chin and on the tip of my nose. So we'll bring some extra shine into my forehead as well, but that's all, just a little bit of extra shine. As always, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm actually going to take a powder puff. I've got a powder puff right here. This is by Classified. I got this at Mamie's. I'm just going to dip it and then rub some on the back of my hand. And I'm going to go under my eyes. And this is going to cancel out any shadows that I have underneath my eye because I do have pretty deep sockets. And I'm also doing this so that I can start applying my under eye shadow. Cool. I've 
also gone ahead and put some setting powder under my cheekbones. That way it can kind of like cut my cheekbones a little bit and make it seem like I have more of like a higher cheekbone, if that makes any sense. So I packed a good amount of powder under here so that if I have any fallout when I place my under eyeshadow on, it doesn't ruin my complexion. So any of the foundation and concealer that I've already like took take taken time to put on. So I don't want to ruin any of that. That's why I have a crap ton of powder under my eyes, which I will remove with a powder brush at the end, um, once I'm done placing my under eyeshadow. For my under eyeshadow, I'm actually going to start with an eye pencil and this is by John to Blue. And it's a little bit shimmery. Well, it, I feel like it has a little bit of glitter in it and this is the Glittering Star Eyeliner. I'm going to place that right underneath my lash line, as close to my lash line as I possibly can. And this is meant just to define that lash line. Mind you, your pencil does not have to be glittery. This is just what I felt like using today. Since this is an orange look, I'm gonna add some orange underneath my eye. And I'm not gonna, you know, blend out this liner that I have underneath. I just wanted to define my eye so that I, when I add the orange, it doesn't just like wash out my lash line. Um, just to give it kind of like a vintage 60s look. So I'm gonna go in with small tapered detail brush. And again, this is my Morphe M149. So like I said, I'm starting off with just a little bit and adding more as I go. As you can see, that black has been a little bit diffused. It's kind of hiding under that orange, but you can still see the definition on my lash line. Next, I'm actually going to take my transition shade and a fluffy brush. So I'm gonna go in with my transition fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M511. That's the brush. And going into my transition shade, which is in my Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. It is in the shade So Bougie right here. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse out that orange on my under eye. And the reason I'm doing this is because there's some shadow on this side of my black eyeliner and that is so bougie. And now I want to blend in the bottom of my eye into that part of my eyeshadow. Remember, no harsh lines ever. This is just going to make a more subtle transition when this orange part starts right here. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Brown Brow Pomade. So this is called the Dip Brow Pomade. That's actually what it's called. So I'm just dipping my brush into this product and with that product I'm actually going to carve out the bottom of my brow right over here. Like that. And then I'm going to carve out my arch. And both lines will meet at the tail end of my brow. Like that. And then whatever product's left, I'm going to lightly run across the front of my brow in a way that it blends into the more defined portion of my brow. So just using light strokes and slowly bringing it forward to the front of the brow. This way I don't end up with too much product in the front of my brow where I don't need too much. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight in the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette and I'm gonna go into, let's see, let's go into this shade. This is Gold Dipped. So then I'm just going to tap that into my hand. I'm gonna go in with my Mr. Right eye pencil. This is in See More, See More Date Nights. And I'm gonna go in with this into my waterline. This is gonna make it so that my eyes appear bigger and more open. I'm gonna take my Mad Lash Mascara. This is by The Balm Cosmetics. And I'm going to run that through my eyelashes. I'm gonna start at the root of my lashes and comb through them. Now I'm going to take my Lily Lashes. This is the uh, Foam Ink in Jaya. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled G-A-I-A. -A. And I'm going to just prep these to place on my lashes. Now they've already been cut because I have used them before. So I'm just going to go in with my Duo Adhesive. This is the clear one. So I'm just going to let that dry for a little bit. Just a little bit because I didn't put too much. I prefer not to put too much uh, lash adhesive on because then it just gets stu stuck on my eyelashes and it's so hard for me to remove um, lash adhesive from my lashes and it's the most frustrating thing because then I just, look, I just look like a cochina with um, eyelash glue on my eyelashes when I'm not wearing any lashes. So that's just a preference on my end. Now I'm just going to place this right on top of my lash line and starting at the middle of the lash, I'm going to press that on the lash line and then I'm going to go into the inner corner and attach that to my lash line and then to the outer corner and attach that to my lash line. And she has lashes. That's what guys. The last and final step is lips. This is my NYX Brown. It's just an eyeliner, I believe. And I'm just gonna go ahead and align my lips. And then I'm just going to take that lip liner and go into my lip and I'm not going to go all the way into the center. I'm mainly focusing on the outer part. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Melt Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Monarcha and it's a beautiful bright, bright, bright lipstick. It's orange, literally a neon orange. So I'm just going to go ahead and start in the center and then I'm going to blow like this. So because I want the center to really, really pop, I'm going to add a little bit more and on top of this application, I'm going to add a little bit of the eyeshadow that I have on my Lonnie again. I really 
really want this to pop, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice fluffy brush. I'm going to dip that into radon. And starting at the center of my lips, I'm going to pat it in. As you can see, it's just, it's brightening it up. On top too, right at the center, kind of where your lips meet. set my face, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay on lighter spray. And this is like my ride or die spray. It like You spray it on and it really makes your makeup last all night. And that's it. Your makeup is sealed once it dries. And you look like a cute little space. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really, really love this graphic guide. This is the business. So cute, right? And the pop of orange, it just, it's great. It's exactly how I wanted it to look. So if you really like this tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time on Sweet Caroline TV.